please. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Uh, I think we can measure, uh, at least from the Army perspective, uh, progress from two vantage points. Uh, first, progress since we started the Federal Data Center Consolidation Initiative a while back. Uh, since that time, Army has reduced our inventory by about 33%. Uh, That's equivalent to about 420 data centers we have closed to date with a cost savings of about $52 million. So we made some progress there. But uh, I really think that's been the low-hanging fruit, if you will, mm -hmm. the easy targets. Uh, and since, this, since uh, FY15, we have noticed some slowdown in closures. So we have a ways to go. So I think the real part of progress, the real exciting part we're doing for the Army is, is how we are accelerating our, our closures and optimization efforts. And we want to do it in a way that makes sense. And we're doing it in a way uh, where we're not just closing data centers here and there, but with a definitive end state that we have in mind here. Uh, and the intent of the end state is really fourfold. It's, uh, of course, we want to reduce the application footprint and the data center footprint. Uh, we want to migrate applications to enterprise hosting environments, like the commercial cloud. Mm -hmm. We want to gain those economic efficiencies, and we also want to improve our cyber defenses. And we think we can do all that through optimization and through consolidation efforts. Uh, our end state is going to be codified in a directive signed by the Secretary of the Army very shortly. He will he'll be doing that. That directive also has an implementation plan in there. It's important because the implementation plan does two key things for us. First of all, it says, at the end of FY25, Army, you're going to look this way with your data centers. That is, a directive authorizes specific types and numbers of data centers at each Army installation at the end of fiscal year 25. That directive also says, hey, here's a closure schedule. Commands, you will follow this schedule by FY and by quarter and close these data centers to make sure you hit those targets so you can achieve that end state in FY25. Cool. It's good to have that the leadership behind us. Absolutely. That, and that's something we were, we were actually yeah. uh, lacking in the past, but we've got leadership behind us fully now engaged in this. That's cool. Uh, and through a phase approach right. uh, already underway, uh, we are going to actually knock down our hundreds of major data centers down to 10 by 2025. Fantastic.